Starve before hauling steel coils. Go broke before transporting pipes. That's a saying that echoes across the highways. A warning every veteran trucker knows by heart. And it's not an exaggeration. Even drivers with the best insurance and modern rigs get uneasy when they're assigned to move these massive rolls of steel that look harmless at first glance. The reason is simple, direct, and deadly. A sudden stop, a sharp curve, or even a small pothole can cause the coil to break loose. In that instant, a mass weighing tens of tons turns into an uncontrollable projectile. Powerful enough to tear the cab off a truck like it was made of plastic. There's a story of a steel coil that came loose and rolled down a highway. It didn't seem to be moving fast, but a man who tried to stop it with his body learned the hard way. That unstoppable metal mass crushed him in seconds. A single steel coil can weigh as much as 10 adult elephants. Not even a Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Cretaceous era could resist its momentum. Appearances are deceiving, and trusting your eyes could cost you your life. If you ever find yourself on the road and see a steel coil rolling loose, the only smart move is to get away as fast as you can. But there's something even more puzzling about these objects. Something you've probably wondered yourself. If it's so obvious that they can roll, why does the transport industry lay them on their side? Wouldn't it be safer and more logical to move them standing upright? The answer isn't that simple. It's all about physics and logistics. Get ready to learn the truth behind what seems like madness. The first reason behind this practice comes down to a key factor in the industry, loading and unloading. The design of these coils with a hollow center is no accident. It's made so a specialized hook can pass through it, lift it easily, and place it onto the truck or into storage. It's a safe and efficient lifting system refined over decades. Imagine trying to lift a steel coil standing upright. Finding its balance point would be a logistical nightmare, wasting enormous time and effort. And the risk of the coil tipping over, damaging equipment or injuring workers, would be unacceptably high. But transport safety doesn't end with easy loading. There's another, even more critical reason tied to the physical properties of steel. When a coil is placed upright, its weight is concentrated in a small contact area with the truck bed. Constant road vibrations, bumps, and slight movements create endless friction at the base. That friction and pressure can deform the coil's edges. It may look like minor damage, but it's a serious problem. These steel coils are manufactured with millimeter precision. If their edges dent, the entire coil can become useless to the buyer, leading to huge financial losses. But if weight isn't the only problem, what makes them so fragile? The answer lies in the immense pressure hidden inside. These coils, made of thousands of tightly wound layers of steel sheets, hold enormous internal tension. In the rolling mill, the steel is wound at extreme temperatures. As it cools, the metal molecules bond with tremendous force. Experimental data shows that a steel coil two meters in diameter at rest can have an internal pressure of up to 500 atmospheres. To put it in perspective, that's the same pressure found 500 meters below the ocean's surface where a conventional submarine would be crushed. If transported upright, road vibrations can break that internal tension, releasing all that energy explosively. The coil could unravel or burst apart instantly with enough force to kill anyone nearby. It's like a giant spring suddenly snapping with unimaginable power. Fortunately, the transport industry hasn't fallen behind. Today, there are specialized trucks designed exclusively to carry steel coils. These vehicles are equipped with smart monitoring systems that track the coil's movement and temperature in real time, along with anti-slip supports that deploy automatically if even the slightest shift is detected. 
However, not all transport companies use them. Most truck drivers prefer more flexible jobs that allow them to carry a wide range of loads, from fruit to furniture, to maximize their earnings. In this case, specialization is less profitable than versatility. For most truckers who use standard vehicles, cargo safety depends entirely on experience. They rely on chains, ropes, and wooden blocks to secure these steel monsters. The key, as any veteran driver will tell you, is patience. You can't rush the loading process or skip the strap check, see? And when you're on the road, there's no room for panic braking or sudden acceleration. As an everyday driver, the best safety measure is to switch lanes and keep a wide distance if you ever find yourself near one of these trucks. But the danger of steel coils doesn't end on the highway. Even in a warehouse, completely still, they can be deadly. There have been documented cases of workers climbing onto these coils for inspection, or to move them, only to suffer third-degree burns. Even after two days of transport, their surface temperature can remain at 120 degrees Celsius. A freshly manufactured steel coil takes more than a week to cool completely. Although the exterior may feel cold, the core is still a mass of glowing metal. And as we've seen, the internal tension remains a hidden danger. That's why any warehouse worker knows to keep a safe distance. So, why does the industry rely on them so heavily if they're so dangerous? The answer is efficiency. A steel coil is far more compact than a stack of flat sheets of the same weight. Industries that use them, from car manufacturing to shipbuilding, prefer working with coils because their production lines are designed to unroll and cut steel to exact dimensions, minimizing waste. So the next time you see a truck hauling one of these enormous loads, you won't just be looking at a truck. You'll be seeing a lesson in physics, a logistical challenge, and a testament to human engineering. And now you know the full story from the open road to the warehouse. Which part of this story surprised you the most? The danger, the physics, or the hidden engineering behind every steel coil? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories where science and engineering meet the real world.